What began as a routine naval training exercise became one of the best documented and most puzzling UFO encounters of the 21st century. This is the story of the USS Nimitz incident. It was the Pacific Ocean on November 14, 2004, just about 100 miles southwest of San Diego, California. The USS Nimitz carrier strike group were conducting drills before their deployment in the Persian Gulf. The USS Princeton was a missile cruiser in that strike group, and it was detecting something with its highly advanced radar system. For several days before the 14th, the Princeton's radar was detecting what they called anomalous aerial vehicles, or AAVs, flying at an altitude greater than 80,000 feet. These screens showed well over 100 AAVs at a time, the senior radio operator at the time said watching them on the display was like watching snow fall from the sky. At first they were seeing those anomalies as equipment malfunction, but after careful examination they found the equipment was in working order. After they determined that everything was operating as it should, they began detecting instances in which the AAVs dropped with amazing speed to lower airspace. Two FA-18 Super Hornets from the USS Nimitz were flying training maneuvers at this time. At about 2 p.m. on November 14th, they were diverted to new coordinates for a real-world task. The pilots first arrived and did not see any flying aircraft. However, the lead pilot noticed what he saw as a disturbance in the water. By the way the water was churning, it appeared like there was a large object just below the surface. An object was then spotted, flying 50 feet above the water. The lead pilot, with 16 years of flight experience, described it as 40 feet long and shaped like a tic-tac. It had no means of propulsion. It was making swift and erratic movements, something the lead pilot had never seen before. The second pilot was a rookie at the time, reported later how frightened she was. As the lead pilot flew around it, the craft ascended and came right at his plane. As the Tic Tac left the area, Navy jets began launching off the carrier to try to intercept the other mysterious objects that Princeton's radar was tracking. As far as we know, none of the other objects were located. As with all of these reports, there are doubters as to the legitimacy of this incident. We are here to look at these reports and review for ourselves if the USS Nimitz incident really was an alien event, unmanned drones, or just a way to make the sky minty fresh.